This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. Bruchem Abayim, welcome everyone. Agotavach, Agazintavach. Parsha Shlach speaks about the mitzvah of tzitzis. I'd like to offer an original explanation for the connection between the mitzvah of tzitzis and the Chet Hamraglam. Obviously, our peep shot, Rashi refers to the idea that the eyes are spies and veloy sasuru is so that you don't spy out uh, in an inappropriate way as the Maragalim did. But perhaps we could offer another connection between the mitzvah of tzitzis and the episode of the spies. In Mesech Diva, Mesech Mem Tesnod Beis, the Gemara brings a story that an ancient document was found in Yushalayim that said that that guy over there, he's a mamzer from Neish that the teachings of Rilazah ben Yaakov were Kav Venaki, and that Menashe killed his grandfather Yeshaya. Rav explains he tried Menashe because on three occasions Menashe tried Yeshaya in court because on three occasions Yeshaya said something contrary to what it says in the Torah. Moshe Rabbeinu said, No living person could see God. And Yeshaya Novi said, Va'era esalaikim yoyshev al kisei Ramanisa. Moshe Rabbeinu said, Mi kashem alaykeinu b'chol kareinu love. God's always available. And Yeshaya said, No, der shashem be matzah. I seek him out when he is available. Moshe Rabbeinu said, As misbar yamecha amale. I will fill your allotted years. And Yeshaya added, I will add to your years 15 years. So Yeshai Hanavi says, I know he's not going to accept anything I say. Therefore, he had no choice but to run away. He said, a shame. He turned into a tree. He was swallowed by a cedar tree. And Menashe hacked away. And when he got to his mouth, Yeshai Hanavi was killed. Because he said, that he criticized the Jewish people. And the question is, if Yeshaya was able to hide in a tree, then why, how is Menashe able to find him? Why couldn't he completely hide? So if you look in the Yushalmi and Sanhedrin, Prakiraf, Halacha Beis, the Yushalmi says that the tzitzis of Yeshaya and Novi were sticking out, and therefore Menashe couldn't find him. But the question is, and this is the obvious question, it's asked by the Ben Yayada, you know, for those of us who know how to say Shemois and turn into trees, then why can it also hide the tzitzis? Well, the Ben Yoyada offers an incredible explanation. Says Ben Yoyada, and by the way, this is cited in our humble sefer on Rabbi Meir, Ala Kadu Meir Anini and Parak Ches, but I want to share with you a brand new idea. Ben Yoyada says that based on the teaching of the Rosh, that tzitzis demonstrate that whether we walk before God and whether we are milafun of, whether we're acting uh, with the program, or whether we're acting milaachrav, whether we're not with the program, whether we're doing with Son and we're going with Him, or we're not going with Him, bein kach u bein kach we are always considered the beloved children of Hashem. In fact, we have five knots and eight strings, that's 13, four corners, is 52, gematria ben. The message of tzitzis is that ben kach u ben kach nekraim banim. And in fact, Rav Chaim Falaji writes based on the Yalkut Shemoni on Tehillim that darshans the pasuk Yera e el avadecha fa alecha vahadarcha abaneim vahadarcha abaneim refers to tzitzis. Rav Chaim Falaji who brings thirty six proofs that we are considered. The, we're always considered the children of Hashem. He says one of the proofs is from the mitzvah of tzitzis. Now, the sin of Yeshaya Hanavi was he criticized the Jewish people. He put into question our relationship with Hashem. He said there are am tmeis vasayim. Even though he said that ki ish tmeis vasayim anoich, that I am a tmeis vasayim, that's fine. You want to say that about yourself? You could say whatever you want. But to criticize the entity of Kal Yisrael we are untouchable. He was putting into question our relationship with God. He was challenging the idea that we are always the beloved children of Hashem. And therefore he was caught up, he was vulnerable through the mitzvah of tzitzis because tzitzis demonstrates ben kach u ben kach 
nikra'im banim. We could humbly suggest then that this is why the mitzvah of tzitzis was given to the Jewish people in the aftermath of the Miraglam. Lest anyone think, now we are not no longer being allowed to come into Eretz Yisrael. And we could even add, Eretz Yisrael demonstrates that we are always banim lamakim. Megal Amukai says that the real enjoyment of the status of Banim is in Eretz Yisrael. And those from between 20 and 60 would die out in the Midbar. So one may think that we are, we are, um, our relationship with Hashem is put into question. We are no longer the beloved children of Hashem. So Hashem says, no matter what, even though you can't go into the land right now, even though not everyone will survive the desert, nevertheless, I'm giving you the mitzvah of tzitzis to demonstrate five knots, eight strings, 13, 13, 13, 13, the gematria ben, that whether you're walking with me or you're walking in the other direction behind, nevertheless, you are always the beloved children of Hashem. Wishing everyone, agitavach, agizintavach. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.